I started off my sculpt with a simple UV sphere and began to shape the basic shapes. I just used the move tool in the initial stage and just move things around just to get the shape of the head right. And then pull out an egg using the masking tools and then inversing and then pulling it out. After then, I just continue to shape the basic face. After then, I just mask a small area for the ears and then I pull them out, really pull them out more than you think you should so this stage is pretty basic and all i do is just add some basic features the proportions can always be adjusted the point in this stage is just to get in the features i carved in the eye sockets made some details in the forehead and also just a rough nose like i said the point is just to get in the features after that i added some volume to the mouth because the mouth is really round and adjusted the shapes again I then proceeded with the adding some details on the ear. Everything is really basic and very low poly as it really helps you as it helps with easy sculpting and also when it's low poly it's very easy to move things around and to adjust things. I just carve in an area for the lips and then with the move tool I just I just move the vertices around to give it a rough, sh rough shape for the lips. I then carve in some details for the nose and also add the fat pads of the cheeks. I was running out of references, so I quickly grabbed some from Pinterest. References are your friend. Do never sculpt without a reference. I then made the nostrils and added some details for the eye. And now that I have the features in, I can easily move things around, adjust things. Everything is super low poly. And in this stage, I just try to get everything as close as I can to the reference. I don't try to go for a hundred percent. Because sculpting for likeness can take around four to five to six hours easily. So the most I commit to a sculpt is an hour or two hours. I then added more resolution to the sculpt so that I could make the details for the eyes. I just simply use the draw sharp in inverse and then make an eyeball. Then I just move things around and wrap the eyelids around the eyeball that I created. I just mask some areas and then adjusted some proportions again. Never shy away from adjusting your proportions. Whenever something feels wrong, just adjust it. Once I was happy, I just added a lot more resolution and then began to sculpt the finer details. So basically, I just keep everything low poly and try to squeeze out as much detail as I can and only increase the resolution when it is actually required. After making some final adjustments, I just made a UV sphere for the hair and then I just move things around. What I like to do here is just add the basic shapes, just the rough block out. And once I'm happy with the rough block out, I just make it very high poly and then use the draw sharp brush to indicate the flow of the hair and just make some big chunks. It just gives you an illusion of detail. The other method is using hair particles and creating mesh using curves. And that process can take very long. So I just use a basic UV sphere for the details. Once I was happy with everything, I just I just use the paint tool to roughly paint in the makeup of the joker and just use the default round brush. I wasn't using any texture brush though I could, but yeah, the point is just to practice, just to make something. So this is good enough. After that, I just turned on the shadows and then I enjoyed my work. If you want to learn how to sculpt heads, then check out the link in the description. I've recently made a course. If you are struggling with sculpting heads or want to learn how to sculpt head in Blender, I have recently made a course. Check the link in the description. Basically, I have filtered out all of the bullshit advice that you get on the internet and filtered out all of the good ones. I have broken down the course to the basic essentials, only the good things that you need to know to make a good head sculpt. This course is basically everything that I wished for when I was learning how to sculpt. So check out the link in the description and I'll see you next time.